Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I, well, let's just say this cruise is going to be here before I know it. Uh, and I am trying to really nail down now everything that I'm going to be taking with me. I've already shown you some clothes, but today I'm going to show you some bags and some shoes. The, uh, some of the shoes, one pair I had last, I bought last year and all of the rest I bought within the last couple of months. Uh, some I've been wearing, but they're going with me. Uh, one pair I haven't worn yet. I'll, I got these specifically to wear to dinner at night on the cruise in the main dining room. It's sort of uh, dressy, dressy casual, but uh, there are two formal nights on this particular cruise. So let me start off by showing you um, I'm going to show you these shoes because, and these are these are the shoes that I purchased last year, and you know it's one of those situations where you say later, why didn't I buy those then? Why didn't I buy another pair? Why didn't I buy two or three more pair? Because they had them, and they're no longer being manufactured. So I had to do a lot of searching to find them, and I, then I didn't get exactly what I wanted. These are by Nine West. And they're called Jilly Boys. And this is the little shoe. Whoops. This is the little shoe. I have worn these to death. They are so comfortable. Uh, I've walked long distances in them. They just feel wonderful on my feet. They're cute on the foot, too. So I'll, I'll put a link to these because... Uh, when I really started hard a few, looking for these a few months ago, I did find them. Dep and you can probably get something similar to it depending on your shoe size. You may even be able to get this. So this is them. Let me show you what I found that is identical, but yet not. It's the same brand, the Nine West Jilly Boy. And this is it. I've been wearing these but they're like a canvas. Now, this one is, the fabric is just a little bit stiffer. The description on these said they were beige or tan, but really they're not, and they may look like that in the, in the camera viewfinder or in the lens. They may look like that in the camera, but something I love about them that I didn't know I was getting is they have a tiny gold overcast to them. You can you can see the tiny gold specks all in them. So this was the only color that I was able to find in my size and I searched the internet over. So they came in and I walked around in them and of course Jim was aware of everything that I was going through trying to find these shoes. He looked at me and he said, Patty, if they still have them, order another pair. You won't regret it. So right then, I ordered a second pair of them. And they're still in the box. They're in my closet. When I wear these out, I'll open those. I just love them. You can wear these with anything. You can wear them with slacks. You can wear them with capris. You can wear them with shorts. You know, you can wear them with skirts. You can wear them with just about anything. They're cute. So hopefully you wear a size where they'll have a lot more patterns uh, of those. Let me get rid of these. The next pair of shoes, I think I showed you these shoes uh, when I did the last car vlog. I picked these up at TJ Maxx and I thought this was the cutest shoe. It's a little sandal. It has a little wedge and these are are not leather. I will tell you that. They have elastic straps. I hope you can see, that, see it. And I just knew, oh by the way, they're IMPO stretch. I just knew when I bought these shoes, and these shoes, those little canvas shoes, 
The first pair I bought last year, I think I paid about $30 or $35 for them, but the little gold tannish ones maybe were because they've been discontinued. Uh, they're no longer making them. Uh, maybe $15 or $20. They were inexpensive, and these were inexpensive. These may have been $20 at TJ Maxx. And I just, I just knew I was gonna love these shoes. There, maybe you can see that better. About two weeks after I got them, I put these shoes on and I'm gonna tell you, I wore them out shopping one day and my feet have never hurt me so bad in my life. Uh, there's no real padding in them and they're snug on my foot. So my thought was, well, you know, I could put a little, one of those little padded inner soles in there but they're snug on my foot already, so I don't know if that would work. We went out to dinner the other night, and I was going to be in the car and then sitting, so I wore these shoes, and they were fine in a situation like that where I was not up walking, and they're so cute. I wore these with those little magic pants that I'm taking, and they were so cute with the outfit I had on. If I, you know, I wonder if I got them in a seven, then I could put a pad in them, but I haven't seen them. I may go online and try to find them and see if I can find them in a seven. And, you know, TJ Maxx might have them on their website. I'll try that. The next pair I got, and I got these, I, I got these at Bill's Outlet. I believe I got I got these either at Bill's Outlet or Ross, one or the other. And again, they, they were cheap. I mean, they, they were probably $15. But they're little sandals. I've been wearing them. Uh, you really can't see it, but on the sole, it just says Explore. So I don't know if that's the uh, the brand, but they're, they're a fabric. They're real soft. I have worn the Dickens out of these shoes. I mean, they are, they have Velcro across the top. They have Velcro on the heel. So they're a, totally adjustable and so comfortable. But they're like a, they almost look like they're leather, but they're not. It's like a slicky, polyester -y type fabric. So comfortable. So comfortable. And then again, I think I, e I got these either at... Oh, gosh. It was either Ross or, or maybe... Maybe... The Beale Outlets, they're, I think they're supposed to be a knockoff of Tex, maybe, but they're Tevas is, is the name of them, Teva. I don't know if you can see it in the, but a sandal, and again, Velcro on the top, Velcro across the foot, so comfortable. Oh my gosh, these are comfortable. And again, maybe $20. I love them. The last pair I'm going to show you, uh, I do have a, a pair of just plain black flats that I'm going to be taking to wear uh, for something different at night when we go to dinner. But I purchased these um, at... Dillard's on sale on their, uh, about a month ago, I guess, when they had their clearance uh, going on. And these are Antonio Milani's. And what I wanted was just something strappy uh, with a, a shorter heel. And this is really a short heel. I would say that's about two and a half inches, maybe even, maybe even two inches. Very, very comfortable. And that's what they look like. The, 
they were originally $98, and I got them for $34.30. And I'll put them on and warm around the house, and they're super comfortable. So I can wear these every night to dinner if I wanted to, but I'll for sure wear these to the two formal nights, and we'll see about the other nights. But I absolutely love these. This is a shoe that I'll probably wear for dressy things for the rest of my life. Love them. So those are the shoes I'm carrying. I think I'm going to carry a pair of uh, Skecher, those Go go walks or whatever they are. I've got three or four pair of those, so I'll carry a pair of those. Now for bags, I am gonna carry a backpack, but I'm looking, I, I love the backpack that I own, but I've been carrying it to the beach and I need a new backpack. And the one I have is so comfortable. It just fits perfectly on my shoulders. It's not heavy. Uh, I. It doesn't slide off. I've been trying on backpacks for weeks, so um, I'm hoping that I find another backpack and I don't have to carry that old beach one. But if I need to, I will. But I wanted to show you this bag. I purchased this bag before we went on the cruise in December, and this bag was wonderful. I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna carry my backpack on the plane with me, and I'm not gonna carry a purse but I will pack this because I can pack it flat. But this is, it's by Bandolini, Bagolini, Bagolini. And this is what it looks like. It's just, you can see, now I have stuff in here, so. It has an adjustable strap so that you can wear it short, you can wear it crossbody. You know, you can wear it just over one shoulder, but you can adjust it. Now, it has, look at this, it has a pocket here, it has a pocket here. It zips here, and look, color switch. I wondered where that was. Hmm. Uh, then uh, on the back, uh, well, on that same side at the top, there are two zippers, and one of them, one of them has all of the little compartments in it and then the back side has another zippered compartment and it has a, a zipper in a pocket inside of it so the only difference in the front and the back is the front has the two pockets here let me tell you it got to be a joke on that cruise because I carried this purse everywhere. And it was hard to remember where we, I put things. I had Jim's stuff in here. I had my stuff in here. And every time we needed something, he needed his phone or I needed my phone or I wanted a uh, whatever, I was having to go through every zipper and every pocket because I couldn't remember what I had put where. But I just loved the size of it. And again, it's Bagalini, B-A-G-G-A-L-L-I-N-I. -L -L -I. And I got this at TJ Maxx, and I wanna say this was maybe $45. It was a little pricey for TJ Maxx. But, I mean, I can throw this in the washing machine. I can carry this everywhere. I love this. Another little bag I'm going to carry uh, when I don't want that and I just need my phone or my lipstick or a compact, my driver's license. I ordered this. I've had this for several months and I think I ordered this off of eBay. I, if I can find it, either eBay or Amazon maybe, if I can find it, I'll put it in the description bar. But it's just a simple little, look at this. A little narrow strap, again, it weighs nothing, it's fabric. Has a cute little charm on the zipper, but the strap is adjustable, so you can wear it over your shoulder, you can do crossbody. You could probably wrap it around your waist and wear it as a fanny pack, 
a couple of times, but it has a couple of pockets on the inside. You put a tissue, and my phone will fit in there, like I say, and I, I, I carry this all the time. I carry this even here when we're going out to dinner or, uh, you know, someplace that I just don't want to carry a purse. I don't need a purse. I carry this. And then the last thing, Jennifer gave me this for Christmas. Her friend made this, and I'll check with Jennifer. Jennifer, I need to check that today. Jennifer's leaving to go out of the country tomorrow. Um, but I'll get in touch with her today to see if her friend actually sells these and uh, the information on it. But her friend made this. I suspect that she does sell them, but I'll find out. But it, it's, an, it's a fanny pack. And it's, here's the strap. You know, it's got one of the, these type. So it's very adjustable. You could carry it over your shoulder. You could carry it cross body ways, but it's actually a fanny pack. This is the back of it. It's denim. And then you turn it around and look. She has stamped a B on it. And it has a zipper. It's, you know, it's, that you can wad it up. You can fold it. it I mean, it lays perfectly flat. You, you can see how big it is. So I'm taking this. I can get my phone in there. I can get tissue. I can get, uh... I can, you know, anything I need, a compact, a lipstick, I can get in here. And I just, I think it's so cute. I don't know if she does other, uh, other designs, but I love, I love the bee. Okay. So far, that's it. Uh, I am pretty much totally packed. I have my suitcase on the dining room table. I have, uh, I packed it last night, late yesterday afternoon. Uh, I had been pulling things out and putting them on one bed, one guest bedroom bed. Jim has been putting his things on the other guest bedroom bed. Most of the clothes that I am taking, my tops especially, the little, they're the little thin, you know, and I can just, I folded them and I rolled them in tight little rolls and it's just, they weigh nothing. and. In fact, I, I, I promise you, I said I was not going to do this, but I've taken, I'm taking a lot more than probably what I'll need, but my suitcase is not even full. So, uh, Jim said, now of course I do not have my makeup in there, or my hair rollers, but, so anyway, I zipped it up last night and I asked Jim if he would weigh my bag, and he weighed it because you don't want to get to the airport, especially when you're going to Europe. Well, when you're going anywhere, you don't want that bag to weigh more than it's supposed to weigh. But um, it, only, it only weighed 35 pounds. So I'm thinking, hmm, what else can I get in that bag? And I've packed, it's uh, some bag, I can't show it to you because it's already packed, but several maybe even a year or so ago, a company sent me some packing bags. And one of them is about 18 inches long and about four or five inches high, and maybe maybe a foot deep, it has a mesh top on it. And I took that, it zips all the way around. I took that and all of the things that I'm gonna be wearing on the ship at night. Um, I have, they're most of, a lot of them are little, you know, the little thin tops, and and I've taken those, and I've just rolled them all up, and I've stacked them in there, and uh, a couple of pair of evening pants, uh, some pants that I got at Chico's that I wore with that gold brocade jacket that you saw from Dillard's, but I got the pants, they're like that slinky fabric, got those at Chico's. Rolled those up, they're in there. Uh, a couple of other pair of black similar pants as those. They're all rolled up in there. And I was able to get everything 
in that I'm going to wear at night in that bag, and I just sat it down on the bottom of my suitcase, uh, which really makes it nice because we're going to be in Barcelona for five days before we get on the ship, and I won't be wearing those clothes in Barcelona. So, you know, I don't want to have to be rummaging through them and unpacking them and pack it, repacking. So, everything that I'm going to need at nighttime on that cruise ship will be right there in that little bag. Uh, the clothes that I'm going to be wearing for the two formal nights, you've already seen them. I just drug some things out of my closet, but they're going to be, Jim is carrying his tux, and they're going to be in his tux bag, so I don't have to worry with those. Uh, something else that we do when we travel like that, especially when we go overseas, is we carry, Jim has a big duffel bag that we carry as a, uh, on board with us, and as one of our pieces of luggage. And we manage to put every pair of shoes that we're taking in that bag. So my shoes don't have to go in my suitcase. They're all going to be with his shoes in that big bag. And he's going to have his backpack. I'm going to have my backpack. And then I'm technically responsible for that shoe bag. And he will have his the hanging bag with the his tux and his sports coat and those his a pair of pants that he'll wear or a couple of pair I think of, of slacks that he'll wear to dinner uh, so those things will be in the hanging bag so he'll be responsible for his backpack his bag the hanging bag and technically I'm responsible for my backpack and the shoe bag although he'll carry the shoe bag too it gets heavy but if you've never thought about having a separate shoe bag, it really does work. Even when we're taking little side trips, road trips here, if we're going for the night or if we're going for a couple of nights, we'll have a shoe bag and all of our shoes are in that bag. And it just means we have more room in our suitcases. Uh, and our suitcases aren't quite so heavy from all those shoes. You know what? So far that's it. Uh, if I come up with anything else that I need to share with you as far as packing for the trip, I'll let you know. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Thank you for leaving comments. Thank you for, oh, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know how much I love you. Bye-bye.